right, what's going on, y'all? So today we're going to do another Tackle Talk. I haven't done one of these in a while, but I uh, figured it was about time to. I've had several people on a few different social media platforms ask me about uh, what I do when I throw a buzz bait. Uh, you might have seen my one of my more recent videos of a tournament where I was pretty much exclusively throwing a buzz bait. I'll link that down there. And then if you want to get all of the tips and, and tricks and stuff that I share, as well as get a look at all the different videos and tournaments and stuff, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down there. Um, it's a big help for me, and hopefully it'll be beneficial for you to keep up to date with the channel. Uh, but like I said, today's video is going to be about the buzz bait. Now, this is a bait that I throw almost year-round. It's not something that I'm typically going to be throwing um, much past maybe early December. I'll still throw it. Um, typically January and February, not so much, but March is really when it comes back into play. Um, and I keep it I keep it really simple when I'm throwing a buzz bait. Uh, if you've watched that video in the past, you saw me throw this exact one, actually. So this is a a booger man. I'm not sponsored by booger man. Um, I just personally think they make the best buzz bait. Um, and then I throw almost exclusively a white zoom Z crowd junior. Um, white is about the only color you'll see me throw. I've messed around with other colors, but to be honest, I have the most confidence in white. White pretty much always works at least where I'm fishing, which is uh, typically going to be Clark's Hill, Lake Murray, stuff like that. They're almost always going to be eating shad, uh, so white works well. It also works well in muddy water, so white's what I go for. I love the Booger Man for a couple of different reasons, um, and the reason I think they make the best buzz bait is because of, first of all, components. You need a good hook. Um, the hooks they put in these are great. Um, they stay sharp. This one's caught, I don't know how many fish now, um, but it's still really sharp. Uh, I personally like a clacking head, so I like a, I like a head where this blade just nicks the top of the head there. You can see a bunch of the paint is knocked off, that's good. Um, this one doesn't have too much of a groove yet, but eventually it'll get a groove in the head there. Um, and if it's a really good buzz bait, it'll last long enough to either wear such a big groove that the arm of the buzz bait falls out, or I've had several of these booger mans where I wear out the rivet here on the back and then uh, the blade comes off. Um, so all you do then is just replace the rivet. But anyways, I like a clacking buzz bait. Um, I've told people before, if you see somebody throwing a buzz bait and you can't hear them from across the creek because their buzz bait's so loud, it's probably not me. Um, the head clackers are the best. If you really are not sure about the head clacker, the nice thing about the Booger Man too is they do sound pretty good without clacking the head. So if you just kind of bend this arm a little bit up, you can get a nice like squeaking, kind of bubbly, gurgling sound like your kind of standard buzz bait. Um, but you gotta, you know, if you tune it just right, you just barely want that head to click. Um, and the Booger Mans have a very distinctive sound. Um, I think even in one of the last videos, uh, there was a, a comment that actually guessed that it was a Booger Man. They, they, they have a very distinct sound. It's my favorite, uh, personally. Like I said, I've used tons of clacking head buzz baits and they're all, they're all good. Um, but I think this Booger Man is my favorite. It's just something that I've kind of gotten used to or I guess grown a lot of confidence in. Um, a lot of guys don't like a really loud buzz bait, but typically I want mine to be clacking really, really loud. Um, I feel like it, it draws fish. Um, I don't know if it ticks them off or <clears throat> if they just view it as a possible prey item. But some of the other stuff I like about theirs uh, is the blades. So they typically use an oversized blade, um, which is crucial because that bigger blade allows you to slow the bait down. And when you slow it down, one, you're keeping it in the strike zone longer, but two, it just I feel like it really helps that sound. So I like having that big blade, that bigger blade, you can work it slower. Um, so this is my setup for the buzz bait. I mean, it's not, no secrets, no special baits, no nothing. I mean, it's a Zoom and a Booger Man. If you can't find a Booger Man, there's tons of different companies that make a good, like head clacking buzz bait. Um, 
they'll all catch fish but these are the ones i have confidence in they're pricey but the components i think are worth it you know and i've had these things last for hundreds of fish uh, before they finally give out so you definitely get your money's worth i throw this like i said year round i'll throw it pretty much anywhere you're going to see a lot more videos of me in the coming months throwing this in the summertime along grass lines along wood down steep banks down shallow banks um it's really one of my confidence baits i mean i i throw this thing all the time if if i don't have one of these on deck in the summertime i probably um, either at Lake Lanier or some other random place, but I've caught fish on it all over the country. Um, so, you know, it's, it just works. It's simple and it works. And I know if I pick it up and there are fish shallow, I'm going to catch them. So what do you throw this thing on? Um, this is another thing that you're going to get a lot of varying opinions on. Um, I have tried a lot of different things but I've one setup is is really all I ever do with a buzz bait pretty much no matter where I'm at and there's only one slight variation I'll do so again not sponsored by Luz or by Dobbins um, this is a Dobbins Sierra series it is a 734 it's a 731 piece it's a heavy fast it's I would say it's more of like a a stiff medium heavy um, it's it's a fairly soft heavy action i guess is the way i'd put it um but this is the rod i've been i've been throwing a buzz bait on this rod for the last i don't know four or five years um and it has been the perfect rod for a buzz bait um plenty of tip so i can i can really bomb that buzz bait uh, but it's short enough to where i'm able to be very accurate and make nice quiet casts at targets um, my reel is just, it's a lose, um, it's, I believe it's a 7.5 to 1, um, yeah, 7.5 to 1, so, you know, when it comes to reel, um, a lot of guys like these super high speed reels that they have nowadays, those, re the Revo Rockets, and, you know, they, all the brands have their, you know, 8 to 1, 9 to 1, 10 to 1 ratios, um, but I feel that a lot of times with those super fast reels, yes, you you are able to move the bait quick, which is sometimes helpful with a buzz bait, but you lose a lot of your, your power, your torque. Um, those higher gear ratios, you don't have the winching power. Um, so personally, I think something in the high sixes, low sevens uh, is going to be the ticket for a buzz bait. And then I think the biggest thing um, that a lot of guys do different, I might catch some heat for this in the comments, that's okay. Um, but I throw this on fluorocarbon. I'd never throw a buzz bait on braid. I've done it in the past. I won't ever do it again. I throw it on fluorocarbon, 17 pound fluorocarbon. Maybe I'll bump it up to 20 if I'm fishing it around some super thick, heavy grass or something like that. Um, but other than that, 17 pound fluoro, this happens to be P line. Um, and that's, that's my setup. Um, it's simple. I don't, like I said, I don't change it at all. I always throw it on this rod and reel. I always throw it on this line and I always throw the same bait. Um, so, you know, this setup is something that I feel like I can go anywhere in the country and I can catch fish. Um, it is something I do religiously on Clark's Hill, but you know, I know I can go to Lake Murray, shoot even Lake Lanier, Oconee. Um, I've done well in Texas on this and Lake Caddo. Uh, let's see, Lay Lake in Alabama, um, just all kinds of places I've caught fish doing this. So it's, it's one of those techniques that I've, I've always got kind of ready. Um, like I said, there's very few times that I don't have one rigged up. You know, tie this thing on like right now and then throw it until, you know, the end of kind of your fall patterns, even into early winter. This thing, uh, it'll, it'll catch a lot of big fish. It'll catch a lot of fish, period. I mean, you'll catch plenty of keeper size fish on this thing too. So, so another thing to keep in mind with this buzz bait, I do not throw a trailer hook. 
And the reason I don't um, is really because of uh, Gerald's Wendell. So he throws a very similar setup. You know, he has his own buzz bait and everything out now. Um, and I, I haven't tried it yet. I'm sure, it's a, I'm sure it's a great buzz bait. He does not throw a trailer hook. And his reasoning was if I have to catch them on a trailer hook, they're not eating a buzz bait good enough to throw it. And that's true. Um, at least I've found that if they're eating a buzz bait, I have no trouble hooking them without a trailer hook. Um, and, you know, typically if I miss a few on a buzz bait, it's because they're not eating it quite good enough. And that's when I'll switch up to another technique, whether it's a spinner bait or a popper or something just a little bit different. That's obviously they're aggressive, but they're not really wanting this, this aggressive buzz bait type of approach. So that's when I'll switch it up. But I would say don't bother with a trailer hook. If you're doing this right, you're throwing this thing into places where a trailer hook is going to cause you a lot more, you know, annoyance than it is going to help you. So um, I would say don't don't mess with the trailer hook. Um, that's just me. Um, but if G-Man says it's true, then it's got to be true, right? So anyways, hopefully this video has been helpful. Um, if you have more questions about a buzz bait, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to address them. Tie this thing on like right now and then throw it until